This is one of the old tram sheds for the Bradford Corporation Tramway Company. They ran all the way from Bingley in the Air Valley to Wyke in the South where you could transfer to a different company and get a tram to Halifax or Dewsbury or Leeds and even Wakefield. Trams ruled the roads in a sense and made Bradford one of the many across the country to receive a tram network of epic proportion. These trams were no different from the ones in Leeds or London, they mainly existed almost as a reflection of Bradford in the 19th and early 20th century, the wool capital of the world, but the wool capital of the world needed workers, and a lot of them, so when trams became a thing, rather than not being a thing, they were quickly constructed in Bradford because with so many working class commuters, it was really a no brainer. But like every video in this series, the populace and the economics started to favour motor cars and motor buses, with them slowly beating the trams away thanks to their lower costs and ease of operation, and the bus became the boss. Now, in a time of unparalleled undercutting of promises to Bradford with the cancellation of the well-regarded HS3, or also known as Northern Powerhouse Rail, which will steal away a new station and a through connection to Manchester instead of replaced by a simple electrification of the Pudsey Line, maybe trams are the solution, and if they are, when and who will make them? Bradford has become a city of motorists, really, because of the terrible transit. It means that trying to push people out of the car and into what is normally an inferior bus or train is basically impossible, with even the suggested congestion charge in the city centre, because of the dangerous emissions, being heavily opposed to, as it means that the majority of drivers will not be compliant with the new regulations around it and therefore be fined. And because of the poor connections and the steep hills, any attempt to get the bus, train or cycle is often dissuaded as simply using the car, even with the traffic, is still faster and better for most. So what is being done? Well, uh, the current outline for transit in the entire region, including Bradford, is still being developed by the combined authority. I'm still also being fought up. So maybe there will be a tram line, I, I really don't know. But at present, the Bradford Council is suggesting a massive pedestrianisation of part of the city centre to make the interchange rail and bus station more accessible by the demolition of a car park and the pedestrianisation of one of the roads. Though this is also facing heavy backlash from the population of Bradford. And then the most disliked scheme, possibly, in all of Bradford is the City Connect programme, which has been making and increasing the number of cycleways and cycle routes in Bradford. The problem with these routes is that the topography of Bradford, being commuting cyclists, it's often still easier to take the car, and only avid cyclists seem to be really enjoying it. And this causes massive contentious with the road users due to the fact that most of them are just lanes that have been stolen away from the drivers just to be converted, which only infuriates both parties even further. In conclusion, the main transit related aspect that Bradford really needs is to better connect itself. The two main stations are disconnected from one another and the priority should be placed for the time being at least improving the bus services and speeding them up using possibly segregated bus routes and lanes. And then the other most essential thing that at least I think is needed is to link up the two stations because then services could run through Bradford rather than having to force passengers whenever Kirks or Forge floods to walk across the city centre and get in a pacer or a diesel unit which will obviously be cramped because it's rush hour and of course the capacity isn't there. But Here's hoping that some of the 280 odd million that's going towards the West Yorkshire Mass Transit does go to Bradford in some capacity. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed and have a good day.